So I've been on a mission recently to try cut down the amount of plugins that I have within Obsidian. I felt like I had a bit too many plugins and I was a bit over reliant on all these plugins that what if one of them went away and I really used it for so many different things and I was like, oh no, I need that plugin. Well, one of those was a call out manager and basically it just let me set different custom colors and icons for call outs. But recently I thought, you know what? I think that's something that I can figure out how to do myself. Uh, and I was able to work out how to do it myself and I ended up making a tutorial, which is on my website, this lovely little website here. But I thought I'd make a video as well just to show you the steps involved for making your own custom callouts. As I spent ages with my styling, as you'll see, trying to make it so that each time a custom call out, even if you have them nested, it always has the same default background and it doesn't like mismatch with the colors, which I'll show you in a second what I mean. Uh, so if you're interested in working out how to make your own custom call outs, as well as how I've done it, you can check out this video or my tutorial on my website. So the first part for making custom call outs is the CSS. So you can find that by coming into settings appearance and you'll come down to the CSS snippets and I have two in here so you want to open up this folder which let me just get that window across oh never mind it opened up one here I missed it everything blends in <laughs> so it opened up one here where I've got my call out CSS and my style CSS so I'm gonna open up my call out one which is here I'm gonna hide some of these windows I want to pop that down here and I'm going to show you what I mean about the custom CSS to make this nested thing work. Now, before I get into explaining how the CSS works, I'm just going to show you that one. And now you can see why I spent so long playing around making these work. Because the nested ones now look horrible and I find the colors to be too dull. So let me just fix that back up. So now I'm going to show you how it works. So you've gone in and you opened up the CSS folder location and you want to make a new CSS file in here. So you can call it whatever you want. You can even just plop it into your style.css. That's the default one. But I'm trying to have separate because I want to work on some more different projects for customizing my Obsidian that doesn't use plugins. So my Obsidian is themed with Dracula. So all the colors in this are Dracula themes. So this is the same pink, the same blue, the same purple as Dracula. So to make your own custom CSS for a call out, you create a little entry like this here. And because it's a bit small, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open it up and I'm gonna put in just a little code block in here. And I might just zoom it in a little. So everything for this is on my website if you wanted to have a closer up of the text. But basically to make your own call out, you want to define it by a dot call out. And then you've got to name it. So here, this one's named figure, which so when I come down here to use this, it's exclamation mark figure. And then it will actually be using this same figure one here. So then the color, I have it set to one of my variables but you can also set this color by your own, uh, which I actually show in my tutorial how to do with the 256 color range. And then it also sets a background color with an opacity of 0.2. But because I defined my colors at the beginning, which also means if I wanna say, oh, I don't like this theme anymore, I want a new theme, I've just gotta change these root values. So that's how I set it up. But that means that this figure box is set to my Dracula pink color and my Dracula pink. And it's also using a lucid pencil, which is that little pencil icon. So basically, if you want to have a call out for, let's say, my theorem one, it would be a similar process. So that one is here in my CSS file. So I'll plunk it up here again. So that is called theorem. I have the call out color set Dracula purple background color and the call out icon is set to is Sigma because I thought that was cute for a theorem. So that's the kind of structure that you need for each of the call outs. Now I will say again, everything is on the website tutorial. This is more just like a talk through so you can watch and you can see and understand. 
Now when it comes to the styling, so I'll copy across what the styling settings were. So now this is also on my website if you want to grab it for your own custom setup. It doesn't matter so much when you're working in light mode. Well, the nesting will still be an issue. So really it matters everywhere. So what I have set here is the background for all callouts. So the callouts will always start on the default color background, which is this Dracula background color, which is set in Dracula background. Now I've set this to be important because we always want it to be the default at the very back of each callout. So that way then if you have nested callouts, each new callout has the same starting background. Then we have the overlay of the uh, um, callout with the opacity set. And then we just have a little thing just to make sure that the content of the callout stays on top of the callout and it doesn't get affected by us playing around with the different colors. So these are just little settings that help, as you saw, make these so much better because when I come over here and I remove them and I press save, it just goes to this, like, oh, I want to call it ugly because it's just like bland and not as bright, but it's still pretty, but it's just not what I wanted. So when I put it back and I save, everything is nice and bright again. So that's this little set of settings that if you wanted to use it for setting up your color backgrounds, you can. Uh, a few different things to this, because I've took me ages to actually realize that you could do this. Um, but it is that you can have these little plus and then this will always stay open. And this one has a little minus. So by default, it's closed off. So that's just a couple little things that you could do. So in the website, I do actually have, if you scroll down to the very bottom, I have my entire CS, CSS that you can then grab if you would like and customize it for yourself. But this is, oh, sorry, I shouldn't have closed that. This is all the different ones I have. So I've got like equation, example, site, quote, to do, theorem. Then also for my coding stuff, I have some different like bug, danger, error. I have some success, hint, abstract, summary, tip. And then I've also got some like warnings and cautions and frequently asked. Now you could really customize these for whatever you are wanting to do. So I do a lot of maths and I do a lot of programming. So the combination of having ones for maths and having ones for programming were really helpful. So for example, here is like one of my maths notes and I have little ones that equations that I can then link to actual equation files and they pop up in cute little purple boxes. And then I have a little example that pops up in blue. So that was one way that I really liked that I could customize my notes that worked well for me. And was one of the reasons why I really wanted to create my own custom callouts because as I get further into my research and my study, I didn't want to then open up Obsidian one day and the extension, like the plugin that I was using was gone. So that's why I created these custom callouts and I hope the explanation helps. I do have everything in my website as I've mentioned like 50 times, um, but it does cover all that you need. So it will tell you how to do it, including if you want to set the colors this way with like the 256 colors, how it would look, setting different labels, where to get the icons and so on. Um, and you can just customize this to whatever your theme is. You can just use like a little color picker and pick out your colors. Or if you use style settings and have set colors set, then you can use them and set that. You can set it to literally any color you want. I just love Dracula, as I'm sure you can see by my theme being all Dracula. Even my website is Dracula theme. So I love Dracula theme. Um, <laughs> I don't know if I have to say that again, but yeah. So I hope this tutorial helps just show you how you can set up your own callouts, custom callouts. Uh, and yeah, I hope this video helped um, and leave a comment if you want to see anything else about my Obsidian setup and how I take notes and how I do like study or anything like that. But yeah, thanks for watching.